For all of you daydreaming hopeless romantics, a pastel pink can be the perfect palette to work with this Valentine's Day. For this casual outfit, I started off with a really fun top from Forever 21. It's made out of mostly sweatshirt material, but then has that really pretty floral lace that dresses it up a bit. I've paired it with a pair of white jeans and then just a simple pair of flats. Since this outfit is already insanely girly, I figured why not top it off with a pink bow because what else screams Valentine's Day? If you're maybe going from school straight to your date, you can simply dress up that last outfit by switching out your white jeans for a lace skirt. I think that mixing the patterns of the floral lace with the classic white lace of the skirt gives it a very modern day Carrie Diaries look. I added a big 80s inspired belt around my waist to further channel Carrie's style. If you have plenty of time to go home, change, and primp yourself to perfection before you leave on your hot Valentine's Day date, then this might be the outfit for you. I started with this really fun peplum skirt that I got at Forever 21 in a really simple blush color that's very easy to pull off. I've added these really beautiful sparkly heels that match perfectly with my insanely sequined top from Express. I've added a very preppy but simple belt around the waist to cinch it in and make sure that it's truly defined. Then I've just added this matching bag that perfectly complements the color scheme I've been working with. However, pastels are not everyone's style, and for a lot of you, a classic red may be a better option this Valentine's Day. The day was almost done Eleven days since you were gone I fell into a bitter sleep without you I'm absolutely obsessed with this red and white polka dot top I got at Forever 21. It's so cute and I love it paired with a simple pair of blue jeans and some black flats. Super casual but still super cute. You can easily dress this top up by tossing it over a simple black dress. I love the tapered hemline on this one that gives it a special flair. I simply tied a knot and tucked the sides underneath so it looks like a little crop top instead of a full shirt. They say the slow and steady wins the race, but and for an outdoor day in the late afternoon, a pair of simple black sunglasses are the perfect accessory to top off this look. However, if you're going somewhere more formal, a tight-fitted bodycon skirt may be a better option to the flare dress shown in the outfit before.
absolutely love the draped look of this blazer that softens this otherwise very sexy outfit. However, when the jacket comes off, it reveals this beautiful cutout in the back of this shirt, which is to die for. 